Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your boy, Shy City Trucker, checking in with y'all live on location. I'm always live on location, right? Whew! It's been a crazy couple days, man. I just wanted to say, when dealing with these shippers and receivers, we all need to execute some type of patience with them because sometimes it's not always their fault while you have to sit for about four or five hours waiting to get loaded. And it's like about 70 people on the dock with 50 forklifts flying around, but they just can't put one pallet on the forklift, put it in your trailer. I don't see why, but you know, I guess it's not for me to understand. So today we're over here down uh, Southern Illinois at a Walmart. Everybody knows Walmarts are not dropping hook situations. If they are, for you at least, that's good. But for me, it's not. So waiting to get loaded, it's gonna be a few hours, I'm sure. Second half, I'm starting to get home homeless. I'm starting to get homesick. I hope my homesick doesn't make me homeless. But anyway, um, I'm just missing. I'm just missing my family. I, I, um, I'm glad to be able to Skype with my my son and and FaceTime. But now that he's cutting teeth and it's it's getting to me, you know, I'm, I've never had a situation to where I wasn't there as my child's met those milestones. So. It's, it's new for me, but like I said, I got into this to be a better provider. I hated the way I was feeling at my old job because I couldn't be the provider I wanted to be. Couldn't always buy diapers, couldn't always buy wipes, had trouble paying for daycare. I don't got it this week, and let me see about next week. Borrowing money, pinching money, and I wanted to get out of that. And I knew trucking was a little bit better financially for me. I just had to make certain sacrifices. So um, I guess that's what I'm dealing with. If anybody has anything to deal with uh, or good advice as far as homesick goes, let your boy know. I mean, I've been going for, from home for months at a time, never had a problem with it, but never had a, a young infant child to, you know, watch, raise, and, and provide for us. So this is this is new for me. So, um, man, don't you cry. <sighs> but no, uh, I'm halfway there, like I said, about a huh. About 100 hours left to go, so I'll be upgraded soon. I have my own truck, and hopefully after six to eight months, I can run uh, either regional or local or do some LTL work out of Chicago or Houston. So uh, the right brother, good job, and congratulations on your local gig, man. I know you're real happy about that. You get to go home and see your family, so you're an inspiration to me because I want to I wanna be able to see my family every day or every other day, it depends, because once you're at home, then you miss the road, but then when you're on the road, you miss home, and it's just one of those give and take, pull and pull, push and pull situations, so, ah, work with me. All right, man, y'all check me out. I ain't want to hold y'all too long. All right.